guys, it's uh, Philzy back for another video. Um, I recently did my Talon 3 Contemptors and my Can the Bloody. Um, I wanted to come back this time with a, a bit of a wow factor. I hope it's a wow factor. Um, I wanted to do something big, so I'll pan out. You probably guessed what it is already by that. Neither. So this is. Uh, my Warhound Titan. I recently painted one. Um, well, it, it, it was uh, one of my two that I had. Um, I painted it up while I was off. Um, when I, you know, when I was away from YouTube, it went really well. But I decided to sell it, uh, free up some funds for the open day and took all the funds with me instead of buying a computer but anyway um i've cracked on with this it's took me a week and a half um, to do the majority of it i have messed about with the shin pads uh, over the last couple of months a uh, few people have seen the shin pads and you know, gave me good feedback so anyway i'll uh, i'll spin around you'll have to excuse my hand still haven't got an electric turntable I've never done chevrons on a vehicle, but I did them on the on the first uh, Warhound, and it went really well. So I thought, sod it, I'm having them on mine. It, it seems um, appropriate to have them on anything that's imperial. They tend to go for stripes and you know, checkers, etc. Um, I will go close to a lot of my artwork that I've done. I was inspired to do, uh, to put more artistic work on to this Titan by a good friend of mine, Dennis. Um, I'll show you all the stuff that I've done close up and there will be some pictures at the end of the video. I'm often asked how I do my uh, bare, wet, bare metal work. Um, I spray the entire area around here with just a bolt gun metal or something lighter even and then I'll paint around the entire um, area with AK Interactive Dark Streak and Grime and I'll leave it for 20-30 hours to, to, to dry because it does take a long time when you use it um, what's the word I'm looking for you just paste it on and let it dry and then you can actually over you know, 24 hours you can wipe it and the top layer comes off but it leaves this uh, patinaed metal work look I don't think my camera will get that close in there you can see uh, a lot of the patinaed metal it just gives it that real feel in my opinion not cartoon I shall uh, pan out that's some of the flame work that I did, or have done. Um, I was inspired by uh, a description given by um, Aaron Densky Bowden. I think that's how you pronounce his name. He wrote Betrayal, which is Betrayer, which is the um, story of the World Eaters fighting the Ultramarines. And this legion follows the World Eaters, and they are called the Ember Wolves. Legion Legio Ordax, I believe. And his description was uh, dark colours, dark reds, with flames over lava. So uh, I took that little description. There's, there's not, as far as I'm aware, any artwork out there to, to help with the World Eaters uh, Titan Legion. So this is all my own idea you know thoughts that and I hope it works in your opinion I did kind of I don't know why I did it but I put a World Eaters logo on his groin plate I know you're not supposed to I know, the people that are into the fluff will say that they wouldn't have the sign but I did, I did it for me so yeah I like it down here I've, um, I've actually painted a, uh, a flaming wolf. I will show you some pictures at the end of that. But 
There she is, finished, done and dusted. With this one, I've cheated. I, um, because I recently did my other Warhound, I painted the interior on the first one. All the pilots and the, you know, the princeps and the, and I, you know, put all my best effort into it. But when it came to doing my second Titan, I just thought to myself, how many times am I actually going to lift the lid off and lift its head off just to look at these people inside and then place it all back down? I thought I've done it once, I can't be bothered to do it again. So this one, there's no interior, I've not put it in, um, in fact I've sold it. And they're not glued down at the moment but I will be gluing them. So, you know, this is just, I don't know, I didn't want to do the interior, I've done it once. So yeah. Um, unlike most people, I don't like using uh, magnets on, on big figures. It's just personal preference. So in this joint here, underneath this cap, there's a, a bolt that runs all the way through and I literally uh, glue in a bolt, uh, a nut, should I say, inside the gun, so you screw down through. So they are still, you know, maneuverable. But you can just unscrew that, gun slips out for easy storage, carriage, and you also, pivots at the waist but I like him facing that way because he looks like he's stalking bringing his evil guns to bear I did actually have a mix on the two titans I had the Vulcan Megabolter and the uh, Plasma Blaster but unfortunately they were painted up first so they, they went with the first titan and that's left me with these two uh, turbo lasers but I'm not complaining <laughs> Although I do like Vulcan Mega Bolters for the sheer weight of shells that they fire out. So yeah, I hope you like it and I shall uh, go in close with some pictures and show you some of the artwork that I've done and I hope you like it. Hope it's uh, brought in the wow factor like I wanted. So I'm just going to pan out now. Um, and I'll come back and I'll it might be a bit shaky so I might just put stills at the end I don't know yet so enjoy the stills or enjoy whatever comes next so take it easy guys and thank you for following me cheers